Hey guys, this is Damien with Dame Tech and I'm back with another video. I will be conducting another gaming performance test with the latest iPhone 14 Pro Max. So for this test, I figured I'd go extreme and raise my ambient temperature to 31 Celsius. I really want to test the performance, but most importantly, the power efficiency and thermal control of the new A16 Bionic chip. With that being said, as usual, I will test using max settings and show real-time FPS during testing and then show peak temperature along with conclusive FPS results for both the iPhone 14 Pro Max and 13 Pro Max. Definitely skip to the end of this video for those who simply want to see the final FPS and power consumption results.
take down the business. Whoops. Pew! Whoops. So starting with thermals, the iPhone 14 Pro Max did quite impressive when considering my ambient temperature being set to 31 Celsius. The device did pick up to 44 Celsius after 11 minutes of testing. Surprisingly, the 14 Pro Max didn't feel very hot while gaming. And just for reference, when doing the same test with the same conditions for the iPhone 13 Pro Max, the iPhone 13 Pro Max peaks up to 46 Celsius with the same test. So let's talk about the FPS average. Despite the high 31 Celsius ambient temperature, I was able to average 59 frames per second after 11 minutes of testing. As you can see, gameplay was very smooth and the device stayed relatively cool during the full test. I believe the iPhone 14 Pro Max can definitely run this game for a lot longer at max settings in this extreme heat. However, what surprised me more was the performance of the iPhone 13 Pro Max after the same testing conditions. The iPhone 13 Pro Max only averaged 57.6 frames per second after 11 minutes of testing. The 13 Pro Max does usually average higher, but I think the higher ambient temperature plus the latest 3.1 Genshin update is most likely the reason for this drop in performance. Anyways, moving on to power consumption, both devices did very well. The iPhone 14 Pro Max only used 4.9 watts of power, which in my opinion is the most impressive result in this test. I do like that both Apple and Qualcomm are really deciding to focus more on power efficiency versus increasing raw power and thermals in their newer chipsets. With that being said, the iPhone 14 Pro Max did very well in this extreme performance test. I definitely recommend this phone if you're in need of a premium device that can also game. However, 
if you already have the iPhone 13 Pro Max, I definitely wouldn't upgrade as the performance cap still isn't large enough to warrant an upgrade. Anyways, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more performance tests like this. Please stay safe and see you all next time.